Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the photovoltaic cells or solar cells. Photovoltaic cells are the devices which are used for the conversion of solar energy into electrical energy. Solar energy means the solar radiations which can reach the earth. So, by using photovoltaic cells, it is possible to convert solar energy directly into electrical energy. So, in general, photovoltaic cells are made up of semiconductors. So, photovoltaic cells are made up of semiconductors. So, let us consider a photovoltaic cell. So, it is a photovoltaic cell. Generally, the photovoltaic cells are made up of semiconducting materials. In general, they can be made with a single crystal of silica or it is also possible to prepare with cadmium tellurium compound. So, here in general, a photovoltaic cell is made up of single crystal of silicon single crystal of silicon means all the crystals of silicon will have same dimensions so whenever a photovoltaic cell is exposed to solar radiations then what happens here there are three possibilities so whenever the solar radiation hits the photovoltaic cell there is a probability that it may be reflected back So, the solar radiation may be reflected back. At the same time, whenever a solar radiation hits the photovoltaic cell, then it may be transmitted through the photovoltaic cell. It is the second possibility. So, the solar radiation can be transmitted through the photovoltaic cell. And what is the third possibility? If the solar radiation is having sufficient energy, then it is capable of dislocating the electron present at that position. So, it is called as photoelectric effect. So, electron which is already present at this position will be moved to the front surface. So, the front layer acquires the negative charge. Whereas, the back surface acquires the positive charge. In this way, in general, the first or front layer of the photovoltaic cell acquires the negative charge. Whereas, the back surface of the photovoltaic cell acquires the negative charge. And because of the potential difference developed between the two layers whenever these two layers are connected to external load then it will act as a battery and thus electricity will be developed. So, these two terminals will act as negative and positive terminals of the battery and whenever these two terminals are connected to the external load, then it results in the development of the electricity. So, in this way, whenever the solar energy with sufficient energy strikes the photovoltaic cell, then the electrons at that position will be dislodged and they will move to the front surface. Always the front surface of the photovoltaic cell acquires the negative charge whereas the back surface acquires the positive charge. With the result these two terminals will act as positive and negative terminals of the battery. Whenever these two terminals are connected to the external load 
tiny amounts of the electricity will be produced. This is the working principle of photovoltaic cell. So, coming to the advantages of photovoltaic cell. Especially these photovoltaic cells can be installed quickly. At the same time, the environmental impact is minimum. And there is no need for bulk mechanical generators so bulk mechanical generators are unnecessary And coming to the disadvantages of photovoltaic cells. The capital investment is high. So, initial cost is high. Especially, we require single crystal of silicon. So, the silica used in Photovoltaic cell is expensive and always a single photovoltaic cell will generate only tiny amounts of electricity. So, we require number of photovoltaic cells which must be connected in series to produce large amount of electricity. So, large areas are required. So, what are the important applications of photovoltaic cell? So, the electricity produced in case of photovoltaic cell is tiny amounts and hence that can be used in watches. clocks etc. If large amount of electricity is produced, it can be used in electrical grids. This is all about the working of photovoltaic cells along with the applications, advantages and disadvantages. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.